blood on shippers and drugs Forever finessing the plug I wish and I learned what the difference was Looked at the top and said, bitch, I want all this Young with new money, I'm rich and obnoxious I almost thought I was screwed I lost two pairs of earphones in the last two days But I remembered I had a lot of old phone boxes over here Over there and I found this The box off the phone I have now I forgot that I never took the earphones out Because I just had loads lying around the gaff it's leg day and I can't be the only one who has to have earphones on his squat. Multiple drugs, now this shit got me nauseous. A cowboy, I'm reckless and lawless. Look, I win the awards and I sell out my tours. I need me and Natalie Portman like Thor's. Matter of fact, she's just what I'm working towards. And I got the juice like I'm hooked up on cores. Uh, party tonight at Borgores. Don't talk to me like I'm at risk before Lords. Look, mama, I made it to Forbes. Look, mama, I made it to Forbes. I'm just picking now. Yeah. I guess things are just different now. And yeah, yeah, she knows what I'm thinking now. Yeah. Luckily, everything's quicker now. I pour me a drink and I drink it down. Room full of boppers, then I swing my dick around. They say when it's raining, it pours. I mean, champagne showers, of course. And my chicks way better than yours. No, I don't fuck with average force. But I cut fast like samurai swords. That boy, he just works in records. Mama, I made it to Forbes. Look, Mama, I made it to Forbes. I know usually about ooh, like eight weeks into a cut, you notice your strength going. It's just about two weeks in, and that squash session really took it out of me. I felt as soon as I hit 3:15, I wasn't going any heavier. The last mistake I made on the last cut was I kept putting, I kept squatting heavy, squatting one rep maxes, squatting for three reps and stuff. And I remember I injured me two knees. If anyone that I watched in a while will know that I injured me two knees at different times. But it carried on into the bulk and it made the bulk not as successful in terms of the squat. So I'm willing to take the hit this cut, keep me squat just around 315. If I go under, if the strength goes, I'm not going to care. I'm going to nail form, I'm going to stick to reps, I'm going to stay away from low reps and high weight. Because I learnt my lesson the last time. But anyway, going to get something to eat real quick. I'm in work for the rest of the day. But I'm off tomorrow and the next day, so hopefully I can bang out some videos. The cold hard truth of it is, my life is not as exciting as... Some of the other people who do daily videos, but anyway, I'm gonna get filled real quick. I'll show you what it is, and I have to go to work on a beautiful day. It's just starting to get nice out, and I'm stuck in work. About to eat the meal that I basically live off. I'm sure he's a sick of seeing at this stage, so. I'm not going to show you too much of it. 2500, I've done cardio as well today after that leg session, 20 minutes. It's 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. that is. And I'm up early so I might as well, it's an absolute scorcher of a day out. Right, I think this is where we're going to do it. It's good ass background in the background and <clears throat> anyway I ask questions on snapchat and instagram so I'm gonna jump into them now Andrew Strickland 
what's your current training split? I'm training to push pull legs at the moment. Um, I was thinking of switching over to a chest, back, shoulders and arms and then a lower body day because I'm getting sick of a push pull. Plus I don't feel like my arms get hit enough. Usually I hit arms just like I hit every other muscle but when it's on a push pull legs at the end of a push session I just lightly tap triceps at the end of a pull session. I just lightly tap biceps, but I want to change that around. I might go chest, back, shoulders and arms, and then legs. But at the moment, it's a push-pull legs. Oh yeah, quick disclaimer, if I butcher anyone's name, apologies. I'm Matty Tuna. Tuna, Tuna, I don't know. What age were you when you started lifting, and did you ever play football, etc., when you were younger, or was it always just the gym? Also, how did you get into fitness modeling? When I started lifting, I was about 14. Reason being is just my dad lifted, he had a lot of stuff in the gaff, a lot of weight stuff, a lot of weight machines and stuff, so I was always messing around with them, I was always obsessed with like getting abs and having a little chest and it just started, it was like a snowball effect, I was a little bit into it and then it just started growing, when I seen results it just kept going and going and going. But since about 14 and I did play football for most of my life, I played football since I was like 7 up until about 15. I played football most of my life. I was playing in the DDSL Premier for the last two years when I was playing football. Um, I mean, it was something I was good at, definitely. Anyone who knows me, who knows me all my life, knows that I was a good footballer. I'm sure anyone would say that to you, but anyway, yeah, I did play football. And into fitness modelling, I don't really know. The fitness modelling just happens, but when you're putting yourself on Instagram, when you're making YouTube videos, these things just come. I never really like went out and pursued fitness modeling, it just came to me. Alex, Alex P. Fit. Honestly, but I don't know if I can on this. I don't think I can without just. Honestly, maybe one day we can have a chat about it. Imran Malik Maher. Any, uh, know any good websites that give good food advice? Um, Bodybuilding.com would probably give you the best meal plan advice, supplementation advice, but. Honestly, I've, n I've never like went out and Googled good nutrition advice because I never really needed to. I just found it on Google itself or if I needed something specific, I'd look it up and find out about it. But um, to be honest, mate, I don't think I know any uh, websites that are specifically just filled with voice. PK Fitness uh, asked, how much are you paying Eric? Those camera skills can't come cheap. Zero euro. Jordan Spratt. Wondering what your program approach to gaining strength is in the in the gym on compound and isolation work. Love the videos, keep it up the book. Um, I've never once strived to be strong. I've never once trained uh, trained in a way to build strength. I've never trained in under eight reps. I've always stuck to hypertrophy, stick to the compound movements, build up from a light weight, always progressively overload being a calorie surplus and you're gonna get stronger. I've never really had an approach to gaining strength. Isolation work, I don't think you should be strong on isolation work. Isolation work isn't there to be strong on. Isolation work is just there to work on contractions and more into muscle connection and just building that with your body. This is from Tyler. So first one is how long do you let your pre-workout set in before you start to shred? I don't know what you mean by that because pre-workout, I'm not sure you like the way you said pre-workout before you start to shred. I think you mean before the workout. But then um, we take it about 20 minutes before a workout. Um, it usually lasts about an hour and a half. It kicks in about half an hour and then you'll notice it wear off after about the two hour long session. Also, how many gym sessions a week do you do? And do you take pre-workout every workout? I do six gym sessions a week. Um, I don't really take pre-workout every single day. I just take pre-workout if, if I've been in work all day or it's been a long day. But yeah. You asked, is fasted cardio the best for shredding fat? To be honest, I don't think it is. It all depends on your end day calorie goal. It all depends on what calories you're left with, what, what calories you got to sleep after eating. Yeah, Razvan, I don't know if I'm butchering your name, man, but what was the reason that you made that, that made you start lifting? Um, as I said, my dad had a lot of stuff in the house, a lot of gym equipment, and it just really got me into it. I started lifting and then I got abs and I was hooked, I was like, oh, I'm going to try to build a little chest. And if you see my transformation video, you'd know how shit my body looked, but I thought I was, to, I thought I was top of the range back then. Uh, Keen Lynch, would you ever train in Titan Strength and Fitness and Kells? Probably if I ever went there. Yeah, uh, I have another question. What would you say to someone who's 16 and an upcoming bodybuilder for advice? I'd say stick to your compound movements, work on isolation, work with really light weight. If you're doing cable flies, really light weight, work on contractions, stretches, Work on 
symmetry of the body first and once you have a symmetrical body you'll be about 17, 18 you can just hammer some growth, some hypertrophy and trust me you'll thank yourself later if you spend the first year or two working on symmetry and just isolating muscles that you see uneven and hitting them specifically and shaping your body, moulding molding the craft before you build it TXR, Zan, how often do you train each body part a week? Do you have just the standard push pull legs? Six day, uh, every body part twice a week, and yeah, that's basically what I'm doing now, just push pull legs. Yo, do you avoid vegetables? I just don't show in videos. Sometimes, I, some days I don't get vegetable lanes, believe it or not, lads. I know it's not the best thing to be doing, but some days I don't. Some days I do, I just don't throw it in the video. Like, I'd, uh, I'd microwave and microwave a bag of vegetables and just munch on it. But um, some days, I'd say two days out a week, I'm probably not specifically in uh, any vegetables in. I know it's bad, but sure look. Arnie, not positive if you went hide out in Croatia, but uh, if you did, would you go back 100%? It was the best holiday of my life. I'm working on the edit I started last night, so be on the lookout for that. Adam Ferberter, um best way of fixing imbalances or lagging body parts. What I said like two questions ago. Work on isolation. I know you're looking up workouts just to hit the hot. Let's say you're you're curious on a chest workout. You'll Google search a chest workout, and it will tell you a chest workout that will just hammer the whole chest. But to actually fix unbalances, you need to go in and fix it yourself. You need to catch isolation movements that hits ex where the imbalance is exactly, and just work on that. Maybe do a full chest workout one day, and then three days later, just hit the lagging body parts. Just hit the uneven parts for isolation movements that specifically hit that part and then another three days later hit your full chest again so the part the lagging parts are getting hit two times a week and the whole chest is getting hit in one time a week I'm just gonna put in here real quick I finished it already but I got asked two questions on Instagram one from Adam Butler any tips on coming back from a bad injury into training stick to really light weight keep your form nailed I'm only coming back from a leg injury from a knee injury Stick to lightweight, maybe I'd say only train that body part or that muscle group once a week. Give it five day rest to six day rest in between workouts. Just take the hit, you're not going to lose much muscle if you're in a surplus. And Maloney um, was wondering, if you if I struggled to put on mass initially, were you a hard gainer at all? What worked for you as you tried to put on more and more mass? Thanks man, appreciate all the work you do and congrats on 1k, appreciate it man. Um, I, honestly lads, I was never a hard gainer. In terms of bulkiness, I was when I first started, but that was just because I was young, I was only 14, I just genetically could not blow out yet. Because I'm short, putting on mass was not an issue. I sort of got wider quicker than someone would have if they were a taller person. But anyway, I'm gonna jump back to the last clip. Right lads, I'm off the leg it now, it's half eight. Um, there were good questions, some of them. I might do this more often. Go out and catch a little spot like this, chill out and answer a few questions. I'm gonna end this video here. Appreciate just watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Multiple drugs, now this shit got me nauseous. A cowboy, I'm reckless and lawless. Look, I win the awards and I sell out my tours. I need me a Natalie Portman like Thor's. Matter of fact, she's just what I'm working towards. And I got the juice like I'm hooked up on cores. Uh, party tonight at Borgores. Don't talk to me like I'm average.